You like it? to the love lab today on calabama cooking we are making calzones that's the original hot pocket all right you gotta enjoy this because you can make this your own there are so many ways to personalize this dish you'll just be in heaven all right guys come on in the kitchen let's cook so family a calzone you know calzone stromboli we we use them all the terms interchangeably when we order from the pizza restaurants but a calzone really is about the ricotta cheese that's really the difference now if i'm wrong uh just act like i'm right because you love me okay <laughs> we're gonna start with the pizza crust here and i'm using a store-bought pizza crust today but you can make a pizza crust you can buy however you want to do it i have some other videos on how to make pizza crusts and things that's fine but if you want to make it really easy just buy a pizza crust oh okay we're gonna start with some ricotta cheese that is really really important we're gonna fill half of the side and we want to make sure that we leave a good amount of space for when we close it okay so i like to start with the ricotta Ooh, and spread it out now be generous with the cheese on these i'm telling you because it may look like whoa that's so much cheese but it's got to melt and a whole lot of different things need to happen so really don't worry about it okay so we're going to start with this layer here of ricotta now i'm going to use some fresh mozzarella and again if you buy the mozzarella that's already sliced like this from your grocery store Make sure you put it on a paper towel to dry it out because this, this piece of broken. <laughs> because mo mozzarella has a lot of water in it, okay? Now, you can make these any flavor you want. I think I've read that the traditional Italian way is with things like prosciutto and things. But y'all know this is Calabama. You know, we ain't gonna make it the traditional Italian way. It's Calabama. We're gonna make a turkey and cheese one today. Well, turkey, bacon, and cheese. And the reason I'm doing turkey, you guys, and bacon is little Aiden, my littlest baby, loves turkey bacon okay and the thing this is why i wanted you to see about this calzone is you can literally make these out of anything pretty much you want all right so i've loaded it up with some turkey i've got some bacon here that i've chopped up i'm gonna put that in there as well he's gonna be so happy he loves his mama anyway but when he sees i made him a turkey bacon calzone now he's a little guy so this will probably last him for it should be lunch and dinner, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and also sprinkle on there a little bit of fresh. Some basil. Some dry basil. Gives it nice flavor. I'm telling you, put whatever you want on these things. Now this, I'm going to push this up just a wee bit. There we go. Ooh. And I'm going to top it with yet more mozzarella. This time I'm going to use shredded. So, you see that? Oh. <laughs> Look at it. That poor little boy's not gonna know what to do with this. Who am I kidding? This is Aiden we're talking about. Yes, he will. You're gonna put this in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes or so. 20, 25, keep an eye on it. You're just waiting for the crust to get done. Okay, see how I've done that there? And I think I'm gonna also hit a sprinkle of Parmesan on there. Cause mommy loves Parmesan. <laughs> You're saying, I thought this was for Aiden. Well, Aiden and Mommy in this case are going to be synonymous. All right. Now, this is the folding part. You see how this is right there? See that? Got that little edge. You're going to take this side. Got a little water if you need it on your fingers. Okay? Just to help you lift it up. Okay? And I'm using parchment paper. And I'm going to fold over and pull just a little bit. You can stretch this dough without breaking it. Now, don't go yanking the dough. Okay? This is not a yanking situation. Just stretch the dough and take a little bit of that water if your dough is, if your uh, crust is dried out a little bit and just put a little smidge of water here to help it stick together. See that? Just like this. This is how easy these are with that piece of cheese. Now, we should have a little ooze factor when this baby comes out the oven. I like the ooze. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to first start by pressing these together. Then I'm gonna go back to the sides and seal it. And you see how I'm rolling this up and sealing it? That's what you wanna do. Now what I also like to do sometimes is take a smaller bowl, like a cereal bowl, about like that round, and I may cut out two and make them for the kids for lunch. They're kind of like minis. And the kids love when I do that because you can make them special however they want them, you know, or you can make them this big. Do it too. <laughs> but it's just a kind of fun way to 
have something for them. Make sure you tuck this nicely. See, I'm squeezing this. Don't worry about making it pretty. Don't even worry about trying to have nothing all party and stuff, okay? I mean, you don't want it to be ugly, but you understand. I'm just trying to make sure it's sealed. I'm crimping this with my fingers. There we go. All right, does that look good? Looks good to me. Shape it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put some egg wash on here. This egg wash on this. That's gonna give us a really nice, pretty color when it's done. Okay. Nice golden brown. This is just a beaten egg with about two tablespoons of water or so in there. You don't have to do this stage, but I think you should personally. But you know, do you, baby? I ain't got nothing to say about you. I mean, I'm, I ain't got nothing to say. Oh yeah, let me get this down. I want this to all be that pretty. Come on. Okay, and last thing we're gonna do before we pop this baby in the oven is take our knife and cut a few little slits here. And the reason we're gonna cut these slits is, you know, that mozzarella is, is a very watery cheese, so it's gonna have some steam. And also we want this to have a place for the steam to escape. You know what I mean? There we go. Yeah, they don't have to be big slits. I mean, like, don't get carried away. You know what I mean? Just little, there's little pockets. That one don't wanna come. He's like, no, leave me be, woman. Here we go. Come on open. There you go. Ooh, this pizza crust got a little too. All right, guys, this is going into a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes, and then we'll be back. Oh, well, let me show you one more thing I almost forgot. How to get it on the pan. You see how I do this on parchment? Watch. Ha! Ah, how about that? And then just fold it. <laughs> Some folks try to pick it up and do all kinds of other stuff. And into the oven she goes. Well, family, our calzone was in the oven for 25 minutes and bonus, I did a good job of tucking it because I didn't get any ooze. Sometimes I get ooze, but I was I was trying to get it right for y'all. Now look at this though. See how beautiful and golden brown that is? That's from that egg wash. I'm gonna cut this. You really should let these rest about 10 to 15 minutes before you cut it because everything will just ooze out. But I did wait some and honestly, I. I know this is supposed to be A's, but mommy wants it. Okay, I'm gonna just, see it in our little bit holes. See, just a little steam could escape. I'm gonna go in. Hot, 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 hot. Use my hot glove again. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> Cause I'm, here, let me put it on. Cause I ain't gonna lie y'all, I'm a little nervous about what's fixing to happen. There you go. Here we go. All right. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Oops. And cut it down enough. There. Oh God. Oh my God. Look at this man. You see that? You see that ooze of that mozzarella cheese? You see that? And the bacon and the turkey was still hot. This is a calzone. This sucker is so big. I honestly don't think you can eat it holding it. It's gonna take a knife and a fork, which I figured. So I'm gonna test it before I call Aiden up here, but um, oh, I wanna pee so bad. Okay, I gotta go, because this looks amazing and I know it tastes amazing. I will see you guys next time, right here on Calabama Cooking for more of the good stuff that we love to make together. Let me go ahead and call baby boy before something goes wrong and nobody gets any of this. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time. Happy cooking. Aiden, mommy's got something for ya. All right, fam, so I cut the calzone and I decided to get little guy here because I wanted to eat it so bad and I wanted to taste it for you guys, but it would not be right for me to eat his calzone or taste his calzone without him. Now he doesn't like things super, super hot, so baby, I hope this isn't too hot for you, okay? It's okay, I'll just whistle on it. You'll whistle on it? <laughs> Okay, hold on, mama's making a mess picking it up. <laughs> what is mama doing? Making a mess. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure, please. I'm not a bad mom. Am I a bad mom? Okay. <laughs> yes, you're on camera. <laughs> Here you go. It's not your favorite turkey bacon. Oh, turkey bacon. Mm -hmm. I keep cutting pieces too big for your little mouth. Can you get that? Just cut a little bit. 
What you think? You like it? So, it's so cheesy. You want another bite? Mm -hmm. Oh! Ow! You bit my finger. Oh. <laughs> and I dropped a piece of bacon. All right. Tell them. What do you think of the calzo? High five. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining us guys. Happy cooking. Bye.